farm sim guy here hope you're all doing well we are on a new adventure we have uh, bitten the bullet and we have moved to court farms and here's the background to it so we were approached the other day by somebody they'd seen the work we'd been doing over on bally spring and uh, they wanted to see if we'd be interested in taking over a contractor's farm over here at Court Farms. Now, first and foremost, we wanted to uh, have a look at it, and they said we couldn't. We didn't really have the opportunity to. It was a, it was a very fast sale. Uh, they'd gone bankrupt, so we asked to buy it as a going concern without seeing anything. Now, obviously, that makes me nervous. You don't really know what you what you're buying. But I spoke to a few of my friends who were down in this neighbourhood, and they uh, they said actually. It's probably not a bad deal. So we have, with zero knowledge of what we've bought, put all our eggs into one basket and we have bought a contracting service down here. And we're on our way to look at it for the very first time just now. This is a beautiful part of the world, actually, just driving along these roads here. It's a really nice area. But um, yes, we've bought a contracting service. We've put every, literally every penny we've got into it. Um, so I kind of hope that we haven't bought a complete turkey. Right, here we go. We're in the town now, I believe. We take a right just along here. Yep, there we go. Follow this road down here. There's a dead end sign there. That's interesting. Right, let's see what we've let ourselves in for. Lots and lots of lovely scenery. But, that's not what we're here for. We've got just a little over £20,000 left in the bank. And um, I don't know what we're going to find here. Um, like I said, distress sale. So, they needed to get rid of it quickly. Also taking on some debt as well. Taking £100,000 worth of debt as well. That looks like the yard though. I did say um, it was plonked in the middle of a field. And there was a, a collection of machinery with it. So let's see what we've got available to us. Right. Moment of truth. What have we bought? Now I believe this field, this entire field is ours. So it's not a bad size. And we've got ourselves relatively new shed. That's not too bad. Okay, we'll have a look at that in a bit more detail. But I wonder what's in it. I'm guessing there's equipment in here. Well, I am interested to see what's around the back. It did look like to be a big pile of machinery there. Well, there we go. Looks like a tanker. Tow behind tanker. That'll uh, pull behind the VW no problem at all. Hopefully that takes herbicide, pesticide, and water, we shall see. A bale wrapper. This stuff looks like it's been sitting here for a while, though. Needs a good clean. Oh my goodness, it's like a machinery graveyard. I don't even know if any of this works. It's an old baler. It's in good nick, though. Looks like it's had a hard life. A plow. Header for the combine. The combine looks pretty new. It's an older version, older model, but it looks in good nick. Doesn't look like it's seen the hours of some of this stuff. Bale trailer. Slurry tanker. A couple of grain trailers here. Everything's so dirty. It looks like it's not been looked after particularly well. Mower as well. Also comes in white and red. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, <laughs> the smallest little spray you've ever seen. It looks like it's been brought over from somewhere in Eastern Europe. But hey, if it works, it'll do the job. Another class windrower there. Okay, no tractors. Wonder where the tractors are. They must be in the shed. Let's see what we've got. I'm not holding out much hope now, having seen the state of that kit. Let's see what we've got in here. Toolbox handy. Oh, what have we in here? 
An old Fiat 180 Turbo. Look at that. That's a classic. As is this. Ford TW15. Beautiful. That has seen a lot of action based on the colour of it. Wowee. we? It's a relatively new JCB telehandler though. That looks pretty good. The Goville bale grab on the front. Actually, some of this equipment is very nice. But it's, uh, yeah, not been looked after particularly well. And hold on just a minute. Is this a Renault TZ? There is another classic tractor. I grew up with one of those and absolutely loved it. Actually, in fact, I had a Britain's toy of it as well. Brilliant tractor. How exciting. Okay, um, interestingly, there's not much stuff in the shed and it's all left outside in the elements. We might have to fix that. What have we got in here? Just more storage, okay. That can stay as it is for now, I think. Let's get this big door open. Um, is there anything else here? I think our first investment might just be a pressure washer. I want to take a little bit more pride in my equipment than uh, they have. Nothing in here. Interesting. Although we could maybe use that for uh, storage of uh, materials. We don't have a sign yet either. We probably need to get ourselves a sign if we're going to be taken seriously for contracting work. And we're coming out this blind as well. Nobody knows us here. It's going to be hard to drum at work. I'm sure they've got their uh, local contractors and their favourite contractors they use already. A very um, busy part of the world for farming, so we're on the back foot already. Okay. First things first, let's go and see what we can find out. I did see a farm dealership back there. Let's go and speak to them. So we'll head along here. What I am seeing is a multitude of fields. There is a lot of fields. Um, not huge fields. But that means there could be a lot of contracts up for grabs. We just need to find out who the best people to speak to are to kind of get our get our name out there, really, and get ourselves a little bit known, let people know that we're uh, new in town and we've got, um, got some big ideas to bring some quality contracting to the area. Now, if I believe my direction's right, this is the local dealers. The signs suggest we're in the right place. Right, let's go and see who we can speak to here. See who can help us. There we go, that was a good start. Went in the wrong gate. But here we are at RBM Agricultural. Let's see if they can help us. Hello there, how can I help you? Hello there. Um, I've just arrived in the area. I bought the contracting business over on the other side um, from Mr. Uh, Jacob Smith. Name ring a bell? Oh yes. Well, um, I was just wondering, obviously you're the deal around here, you'll know all the farmers. Any chance you can uh, put in a good word for me and uh, maybe get me some work? So, you're the guy that bought Jacob's yard, are you? Well, he's not very well regarded around here. Oh? How so? Didn't finish jobs. Machinery always broke down. Owed a lot of money to folk. Generally a bad egg. Okay, well is that... I'm guessing that's why you went bust. Among other things, yes. Okay. Well, um... Thanks for your time. Like I said, I'm not like that. I've got some big plans. And, uh... Any help you can give me would be fantastic. Drop around to the pub later and we'll have a chat. Okay. I appreciate that. I'll buy you a pint. That's that's great. Much appreciated. Okay, that's interesting. I knew there'd be more to the story than... There's no way somebody has a going concern like that and goes bankrupt unless they're doing something wrong. So, looks like we're going to have to win a few of the locals over. Now, there's somewhere else we need to get sorted while we're here as well. And that is somewhere to stay. We could well be sleeping on the floor of the shed tonight. Um, we don't have much organised. Um, we do have a bit of cash put away, separate from our business ventures, to invest in 
potentially buying a home somewhere, but um, that's going to take a bit of time. So in the meantime, we might have to uh, work out a temporary solution. I did see this caravan here. Um, that might be something we can ask around about. Whoever they are, if they live there, they've got a rather nice car. Anyway, I'll worry about that another time. First things first, I am going to set up the pressure washer I've just bought and we're going to get some of this kit clean because it's awful, the state of it. Right, that looks like a pretty decent spot for it. In fact, the nice thing about having it there, I might even be able to clean a couple of things without moving it too far. Let's see how we get on with this. There we go. That wrapper looks as good as new there. Fantastic. Let's have a go in this. Oh, this is nice. Proper tractor of my childhood, this. Sounds nice too. Right, let's give this a wash. It deserves a birthday. It's a classic. Now, there you go. That looks more like it. Fantastic. Um, yeah, it's going to take us a while to get through some of this, so... Uh, we might crack on, and we'll maybe see you in a little while. This Lexian is very nice combine, and it is in brilliant nick. I don't know why it's not been looked after better. I'm definitely going to put this one back in the shed. We've... Um, cleaned a fair bit of stuff. There's a bit more to go with the silage trailers and the mower and things like that. We might come back to at a later date. Uh, I'm just very conscious that with time pushing on um, we really need to start drumming up some business almost straight away so that's that clean. We'll put this in the shed and maybe grab one of the other tractors and get that clean as well. So if somebody does need our services we're kind of ready to roll almost instantly. So um, I'm going to grab the, uh, probably the TW, bring that out and give it a clean, that's the dirtiest of the lot. And we'll uh, tuck this in the corner where the Renault was. There's plenty of space for more equipment in here. There you go. Right, let's grab the TW, give that a good birthday. And then we'll have to worry about the other stuff later, I think. Looks like it saw some pretty heavy grass work last time this was out. But well, we should get it back to a decent spec. There we go. A little bit more, and it'll be... I was going to say, as good as new. I'm not sure it's going to be that good, but it'll do us for now. Great track to this, though. Proper memories of my childhood growing up. We had one of these on the farm, and it was a beauty. Right. That looks a little bit more presentable for any potential customers. Right, we'll drop this back in the shed. Um, actually, time's pushing on now. We should probably head to the pub. Our friend from the dealership said to meet us there, and uh, he would do some intros. Feel like I'm starting to get to know the area already. It um, it's pretty straightforward to get around. There's uh, there's Court Farms itself, big farm. I've got a uh, campsite and everything on there. It's a couple of campsites actually uh, on farms. So people are branching out, not just doing farming. The windmill there, very pretty. I'll head up over here. Looks like the dairy there over in the corner as well. I'll check that out at some point. We roll into the town here. There is the pub. I can see the signs peeking up over the top of the hedges there. So, let's swing in here, have ourselves a pub lunch, and uh, get to know some of the locals. Hello again. Oh, hello again. 
Thanks, uh, thanks for this. I appreciate it. Pint of bitter, please. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Um, so, how do I get some work? How do I get some contracting? How do I get to know some of the farmers here? I think it's safe to say no one will want to use you. You're wasting your time. Why is that? Jacob's reputation was terrible. Yeah, but I'm not Jacob. I've just bought this as a going concern. I just want to make some money and, and try and make a good business of it. All the farmers have their favourite contractors. They aren't going to be interested in you, and that's the end of it. I'll have another pint, please. Um, okay. So hang on. I thought I was going to come here and you are going to introduce me to some farmers and uh, we'd get some uh, potential work going. No, no. I said I'd meet you in the pub for a chat. Uh, thanks for, um, thanks for your help, I think. I'm going to head off now. Are you not going to buy me another pint before you go? Yeah, see you later. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. Um, what are my options now? I just have to go and knock on some doors, I think. One of the big sell points is just up here. I wonder if we just take our chances and head up here and see if anybody can help us. Hello there. I've just bought the uh, contract business that Jacob used to own on the other side of the, of the river. I'm looking to get some intros to get people to know I'm here to do some work. Yeah, nah. Sorry, can't help. Right. We need to rethink our strategy here, I think. I'm going to give it one last chance. I wonder if there's anywhere I can advertise, actually. That might be a solution. Now, I've jumped into the map. Up here, there's a few sell points, including Long Meadow Stores and Long Meadow Bales. I'm going to head over there and have a chat with them. They're a little bit closer to where we are, so I'm going to head over there, see if they can help me out at all. Here we go. These lanes are getting narrower and narrower, but I think if I head up here, it's a pretty straight road, but at the end of it will be the store that we're looking for. There we go. This looks nice. Sawmill over on that side. Long Meadow stores here. And it's busy. Maybe we can spin up some custom through here. I hope you don't mind. Could I put some flyers up? I've started a new contracting business. I'd just like to get the word out that uh, I'm available for work. Yes, absolutely. Just pin them up on the notice board over there. Fantastic. Finally, somebody who's happy to help me out. I appreciate it. They can be a bit like that with new people. It will get better. If there's anything you need, just visit again. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Well, that felt a little bit better. Somebody not judging us because of the business we bought. I wonder what went on in the past. That everybody's so down on him. Well, let's see how things go from here. Let's head back to the yard and at least start cleaning some of the last equipment off. Before it gets too dark for the end of the day. Here we go. Home sweet home. Now, let's at least get ourselves into a position where we're ready if anybody needs our services. I, for one, um, cannot stand dirty equipment, so we'll get all that cleaned. Last of it sorted, and then at least if somebody phones us, we'll be ready to go. Right, we are just about done. Tanker is the last one on the list to get cleaned. Um, and then we're a job done. We've uh, just given the old Fiat a good clean as well. That's a great track to that. Really beefy engine in it, so uh, we'll, uh, we'll have some fun with that one. But we are done here and ready for action. We're just going to wait for the phone to ring now. Right, let's tuck this back in the shed and see where we go from there.
Hello there, it's Adrienne Hooper here. I need some silage bale sorting. Can you help? I saw your advert on the notice board at the stores, and my current contractor's last job wasn't great. I would be delighted to. Um, I will see you very shortly. Well, 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 it looks like we are in business. So there we go. Adrian Hooper, owner of Field 65, bailing tenth, just over $10,000. Oh, man. There we go, Adrian Hooper. Field 65, just over £10,000. That is a nice little earner to start off with. Um, mow the grass, bale the grass, wrap it to make silage bales, take the bales to Pine Creek Bales. Use your own equipment or lease equipment for a reward reduced by 405 Well, we've got a mower, we've got a windrower, and we've got a wrapper. And we have a trailer to take them down to the yard. So, um, I think we'll do this one. Let's accept this contract. And take it from there. We have the ability to collect some more, but at the moment, I think we're just going to go with this. Let's get ourselves up and running, shall we? And then we'll deal with a few other things after that. Right. Let's take the TW-15. Now this is uh, not a million miles away from the farm. I think we just turned right out of the gate here. So let's get the mower. Let's get up there and get it cut as quickly as possible. It's getting late in the day now. It's 3.30 in the afternoon already. I would like to be able to get this entire contract done before the end of the day. That will be a nice first day on the farm. Obviously, there's other things at play here still. I want to know why there was so much negativity before. I wonder if Adrian will be able to tell us a, a bit more. I'm sure we'll see her at some point when we go and collect our fees for um, doing this job. So we could ask her then. But for now, let's focus on the task in hand, which is cutting grass. So, we will see you at field 65. And here we are. It is on the left here. I've just got to find the route into it. I think that might be it there. Oh, it's a skinny field. I'll tell you what, that uh, that fee of 10,000 looks even better now when I see the size of the field. It's not a big field. Contractors must be in high demand down here. Right, let's at least try and get in. There's quite a lot of equipment here to get through this narrow gate, but we'll give it a go. There we go. We're actually having to reverse in it was an easier route in than just trying to drive in forwards. Alright, it's safe to say we're going to close this off in about two passes. It's a really narrow field, but no complaints from me. The more contrast like this, the better in my eyes. Right, we have spun things up. We're lowering things down, front and rear. Let's get this done. little section to do here it's probably a little bit too big with this field this uh, mower but you know what they say I'd rather have a big track to do a small job than the other way around so we'll stick with that for now but there we go not bad at all catch some of these edges here that we've missed as well make sure it's a nice tidy job we are uh, 
all about impressing our potential new customers here, or our long-term customers anyway. I've got to say, the views here are stunning. Here, look over there, look. We're right by a castle. Beautiful. Right. Deer in the field. It's, uh... I've said it before, it's a stunning part of the world. Right, one more pass. Now, there is some stuff down by the gate as well I want to capture. That I missed when we came in. Just getting my bearings and my angles right. There we go. That's actually relatively easy. I'm not going to complain about that. Right, now, let's go and get the windrow. We'll get it all sorted and ready to pick up. Um, but then I think we might just leave it there for this episode. It's a good intro. We've got a few things we need to work out. Like, who on earth this Jacob chap was that we've uh, bought this, uh, this business off? And why does nobody want to use us? Hopefully, we'll shed some light on that in the next few episodes. But for now, from me, the Farm Sim Guy, welcome to Court Farms. Take care, and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye for now. Court Farms. We have just, if you remember from the first episode, we've just finished mowing the grass over on field 65. And now we are going to jump in and we are going to get it windrowed up before we bail it. And I'm going to go over here. And I think the old Renault is around here. Um, I'm going to grab that and I'm going to use that because uh, I'm quite excited to give this a run. Um, so... Let's head straight back up there, and we can talk about what's going on while we're doing a bit of work. Um, after this, we'll grab the bale and we'll uh, run back up with that as well. I do love this Renault TZ. So, let's give you a little bit of background. If you've not seen the first episode, I'll pop the link in the uh, top corner there. But, we have purchased a contracting business down here, and... Uh, it's been a bit strange since we arrived. We spoke to the local uh, dealer, who on the face of it was, was quite nice, but he basically told us nobody's going to want us as a contractor. Uh, predominantly because uh, of the way that the old contractor uh, ran his business. So we've got a bit of a bad reputation we need to build back up. Um, but I went to uh, the local stores, the country stores, and put a few notices up. The lady there was very friendly. Uh, and she helped me out, and um, we got our first contract straight away from Adrienne. So we're doing that for her now. Um, she wants some uh, silage bales delivering uh, to the sell point, so we are helping her out with those. This gate is super tight. I'm not sure how I'm going to get this in here. I'll give it a go, though. Right, we are in. We're going to unfold, and we're just going to run around this field as quickly as we can. Um, yes, yeah, so... Just to give you a bit more background, we've got our first contract, um, which is great, um, but I can't work out what's going on in terms of the other contracts. I'm going to have to ask around a little bit. Hopefully we'll pick up a few more contracts as we're working, but um, I'd, like to, I'd like the word to get around if it can. I may go back to the pub later on and see if there's anybody else who uh, is willing to chat to us, because... Really, I want to find out a little bit more about this Jacob Jap. But, for now, we've got a job to do. So, we're going to get our uh, grass road up here. Make sure that we get every single little bit, because it is a contract. And you are paid for on how much you gather. So, uh, we've got to make sure we get it right. This tractor's running well, though. I do like this tractor. Hopefully, it won't break down. That's something else somebody said, is that... All this kit used to break down, and that's what we've inherited, so... We'll keep the tabs on things. Hopefully everything's going to be alright. When I washed it and cleaned it the other day, did it 
give it all a check over as well and everything seemed to be relatively okay with it so we'll um we'll just keep our fingers crossed that that's the way it's gonna stay so we'll get this done and we'll see you again shortly Just about finished this first pass with the windrower, and then we can head back and grab the baler straight away. Um, I'm a little bit out of practice actually, so my lines aren't the neatest, but uh, we'll be sure to pick it all up with the baler. Oh, hang on, there's my uh, phone. Hello, you got a combine? Uh, yes. Good. I need you over here this afternoon if possible. Um, sure. Um, just message me your details, and I'll uh, I'll see what I can do. And tell Jacob when you see him. This is the last time I'm using you. Oh no, hang on a minute. Um, uh, Jacob's not part of the. Hello. Hello. Okay. <laughs> Another disgruntled customer. I'll see uh, see if I can rectify that this afternoon. What is going on? Anyway, this tiny last little bit here, and I'm done. And we'll run back to the farm and get the baler straight away. Quite enjoying this tractor, though. I might stick with it. Although that fear is quite tempting, too. Well, we'll see how we go. Right, fold this up. This um, gate is a real pain for getting into, though. I don't know how we're going to sort this going forward. I'm not sure how I'm going to get the bale trailer or anything in here. We might have to think think on our feet. I also think the air suspension has gone in this cab. It's pretty noisy and pretty rattly. But uh, let's get back to the yard and let's grab the baler. Actually it seems easier to get out of this gate than it is to get in. It's the angle. I think it's the angle that the gate opens at. But we're out and the baler's going to be a little bit more agile than this anyway. So... We'll grab that and we'll come back. Right, here we are, back at the yard. Um, just driving in there. Definitely calling for a big sign above the door. Need to get one of those designed. Try and find somebody who makes signs locally and see if they can help me. But uh, let's get this reversed up. Let's grab the, the baler here straight away. And we're back to the field. Now, I just thought I'd jump in and check my contract again. Uh, with Adrienne. We're 20% through it, which is great. Uh, they're looking to go to Pine Creek Bales, so I've just got to get my bearings a little bit and work out where that is. Uh, Folly Down is here and Long Meadow is here. The Garden Centre is there. Am I looking on the other side of the ma map for Pine Creek? And there's Town Store. Oh, we're going to be about as far away there's Valley View. Tall trees. <laughs> it's going to be the last one I look at, isn't it? Guaranteed. Pine Creek, it really is the other side of the map. Now, I might be able to... I might be able to get all the way up here on the gravel roads and through. That might be a better route than driving through the towns. At least we know where it is now. So we need to work out how we're going to get there. Right, baler hooked up. Let's get back to the field. Right, the details of that harvesting contract just came through as well. Field 52, £4,400. 
harvesting some oats. So, that's not bad. Not as lucrative as this uh, baling contract in any shape or form, but hey, at the moment, we'll take everything we can get. Now, I've got a funny feeling I saw another gate entrance up here. I'm just going to have a look and see if there is another entrance into this field, because that, that gate at the end there is really hard to get into. Kind of hoping there'll be another one up here, and if there isn't, it at least gives us a chance to check out this beautiful castle. No, sadly, it was a gap in the hedge, but look at this. Tell you, when we've got a day off, we're going to have to come down here and check this out. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. I've said it before and I'll say it again. This is a glorious part of the world. Even if you are grafting for a living. Right. Back to the work. Right, we're in. Let's unfold everything. Spin it up already. I'll lower it down. Let's make some bales. Well, this is hard work. We are running at just four miles an hour. I don't know if it's the tractor or the baler. Horsepower-wise, it shouldn't make a difference. We've got a 90-horsepower baler and a 140-horsepower tractor, but it is an old tractor, and as I keep hearing from everybody, it maybe wasn't looked after in the best way. So I don't know what's happening here, but it's taken us a bit of time uh, and I'm slightly worried because we've got that other contract there in Field 52, the Combine. So uh, I'm just conscious that time's against us and I don't want to let anybody down straight away. Imagine. So uh, we're just going to have to charge on with this literally as fast as we can. Once we've done this bit, I think the uh, bale loading should be a lot easier. Well, we're down to three miles an hour now, and we're on the slightest of slight hills here. I can't go on like this, or we're going to lose out on other business. Um, I'm going to drop this off at the end of the row here, get it lined up for the next one, but I'm going to go and get... I think the Fiat is our most powerful tractor, so I'm going to go and get that, because we cannot drive at three miles an hour. Bailing shouldn't take as long as that. And, um, yeah, we've got other customers waiting. I think this might be a, a night job on the uh, on the oak field. I can't risk um, waiting till tomorrow to start that one. But, like I said, let's power down the baler here. Let's just disconnect this and let's go and get, hopefully, a quicker tractor. Well, even if it's not, at least we'll know... It's the baler that's not working 100%. And we need to maybe upgrade that or uh, fix it in some way, shape or form. Right, that's dropped off. Let's give this beast a whirl. Tell you what, you just need earmuffs in this to speak above the engine. Wow, it's loud. But the louder the more powerful, right? So, let's see if we can get through this field quick. Right, moment of truth. Let's find out if it's tractor or baler. Well, it's safe to say that answers that, doesn't it? Right, see you on the other side. Pulling down the walls we cross, fighting through the wars we lost, looking for the day when we have won.
Right, that was a dream compared to the other uh, tractor, so I don't know what's going on with that Renault. Maybe just not enough power. We'll look at it. We'll look at it in the shop and we'll just check that everything's alright with it. Now I'm going to pick up as much of the straggly bits here as I can. If I can make another whole bale, that would be tremendous. Um, really, I want to be as efficient as I can for my customers. Tell you what, this is hard. If business takes off, I'm not sure how it can be in two or three or four or even more than that places at once. I'm going to have to seriously think about hiring some staff pretty quickly, aren't I? Right. Let's just leave this here for now. I think we'll throw the wrapper back on the Renault. That's not too taxing a job, is it? Right, we've got the wrapper. Let's head back to the field and see how we get on with this. Like I said, this shouldn't be too taxing. If this engine is uh, underpowered now, this is one job it should laugh at, really. No big pressure on this. Right, let's push on. Again. Time is ticking. There we go. You've got to be pretty accurate with it. Once you get it, it's good. Right, let's wrap some bales up. This one, which we're wrapping as we head down to the pile here, and we've got one after this. It kind of dawned on me after I'd done the first few that actually I could wrap and transport them all to one place, would make it a little bit easier for loading. Um, so that's exactly what we've done. It's a little bit slow, this wrapper, um, but uh, the Renault's had no issues with it at all, which is good. So let's go and grab that last bale now. Time is pushing on though. It was me thinking I was going to head over to the pub and see if I can uh, find out a bit more about Jacob and what's going on here. And I am going to spend the evening in the field, I think, with the combine after I've done this. So, although Adrienne might be an interesting uh, person to speak to, I'm going to have to drop round with her uh, bill later. So, I could always see if she would uh, be able to share any info on Jacob. If she knows anything at all. Because I need to... Uh, I need to get to the bottom of this. I don't want it impacting my new business. So, I need to do something to find out what's going on. I also might try the lady at the, uh, at the shop as well. She seemed to be very nice and helpful. Right, here we go. Last bale. Just drop this one here. So there we go. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 bales. It's not a bad haul from a small field. Right, let's get this folded up. Back to the yard. And I'll get the telehandler and the trailer up here. I'm now beginning to work out why this was 10,000. And the uh, the combine was only 4,000, because a lot of steps to this. So, you're earning your money. Alright, this should be the easiest one of all to get in. Because of the front and rear wheel steering. There we go. Beautiful. Alright. Let's pick up some bales. Oh, look at that. We've got autoload. Okay, that changes everything. <laughs> okay. I ain't going to complain about that. Right. It's all systems go in that case.
is not pretty, but it's working. Um, I am a bit rusty at doing this, and actually that uh, bale grab is probably not the most ideal one for round bales, uh, because every time you open the uh, open the sides of it, it um, knocks the other bales. I would much prefer a bale spike, but we've got, I would say, more than half of them on. In fact, two thirds of them on here. So we just need to run these down to the cell point and then come back and get the rest. So let's do that. And then uh, we can finally put a tick in the box for this job. But yeah, time consuming is the word and maybe some of the wrong kit. But I am going to take a chance and I'm going to run the road by going left out of the gate and running along the gravel paths to see if I can get to the bale cell point that way. Right, we're having a bit of a challenge up this hill. The, uh, the block where the, uh, the hook sits on the trailer um, is very low, so it's dragging on the, uh, on the middle of the road here. So we're getting a bit stuck. Again, just another little bug I found with this trailer tractor combo. It's just unfortunate it's with this um, tractor as well, but it's slowing us down again. We just need speed really is of the essence at the moment. And it's something that uh, we are not having. So we're just going to persevere here. We have no other option than to persevere. Um, actually kicking myself now I didn't go down the other it's the weight of the bales as well has pushed it down it was fine when it was uh, lightweight but now look at this struggling all over the place right I believe we're here this is it on the right bit of a chore to get to but um, hey that's the contract so you can only do what you're asked to do, right? So hopefully I should just be able to roll over here. Release the straps. Just for convenience. And there we go. First load done. Right, let's go and grab the rest. And then we'll head back here again. I might take a different route though. I might just go along the main roads. Past the dealership which is just opposite. Right, we're back at the yard here, and actually, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to swap this again. I might try the TW15. I'll tell you the reason why. This feels underpowered. It feels like there's, I don't know, a problem with it or something, because for all the horsepower it's got, it really struggles on the hills. Even then, with that uh, load of bales, it was uh, just creaking a little bit on the hills. Um... I know it's slowing us down a bit. Let's try the TW, because it's here. Let's see if this is any better. We've just got to get that last batch of bales done and sold. And then we've got to make an executive decision. What do we do? Do we go and start the combining tonight? I think we have to. I don't think we've got a choice. He sounded pretty disgruntled on the phone anyway, so... We should probably make the effort. So that's interesting, look that's lifted that a lot higher than the other tractor did, so this should move a lot quicker. We've got a fast box in this as well, so uh, it definitely helps. But yeah, something wrong with that Renault, works on certain jobs, not on others. We might just have to keep it for our kind of smaller jobs and easier jobs workhorse. Right, one last bail. And we are out of here. I can definitely see some uh, alternative ways of fixing things here. This is It's done a good job for us now. But I can definitely see this being more efficient going forward. So, but for now, tick in the box, job done. I'm just going to leave the telehandler here for now. We're going to get these down and sold ASAP. So, there is our contract. I just thought I'd check this to make sure we were nearly there with it. And it's saying it's already complete. So what does that mean? The, does that mean the eight bales we've got here 
we can keep. So this could be a little extra earner for us. That is interesting. Well, I tell you, at this time of night, I'm not going to bother driving right across the map to sell them if we don't need to. So, um, it's stuck on the gate as well. So uh, we'll run these down to the yard, and that's that, because I think we're going to go combining now. Right, here we are, back in the yard. Like I said, I'm going to leave these on the trailer. If somebody wants to come and get them or claim that they're not ours, happy to have that conversation. But, if they don't, that's a nice little bit of extra money there. Let's drop the trail off. I am going to grab one of these grain trailers. I might as well stay in the TW. It's running well. And let's head down to field 52. So there we go, field 52 looks like quite a big field. Um, not far from us though, which is good. We've just got to make sure we can get the equipment down there. So, um, we'll head over and we'll get started. Well, these bridges don't look like they'll take a combine. But I tell you what, we're seeing some of the map doing this, aren't we? It's a fun way of seeing all the map. And we're a long way away from this field still. It's like a network winding through the countryside. And here we are. That's the field. Gotta find a way in now. And it looks like we've got one here. Right, let's get the gate open, let's get the tractor in. It's so tight here, I don't know how I'm going to get a combine in. I might have to come down this road rather than the way we've just come through the, uh, through the fields. Right, we've almost fallen in the river here as well. There is no space. It just drops away there. This can't be the only way into this field, but it's so dark, I'm struggling to see what other options are. I don't think we can do this. We're going to have an accident if we try and do this this time of night. There's no way I'm getting a combine in there. Right, time to rethink things. So, on that note, as the stars are sparkling in the sky there and that hot air balloon is drifting over the landscape we are going to call it thank you very much for watching I hope you're enjoying this and I'll see you again very soon take care bye for now the farm some guy here hope you're all doing well welcome back to court farms yep we have bitten off more than we can chew already we said we would get that combine job finished tonight and there's no way we're going to if you remember at the end of the last episode the tractor was virtually falling in the stream at the edge of the edge of the field um, we couldn't see anything uh, we needed to find a better way into the field and we just couldn't so we've had to admit defeat now um, my aim here is to let things go overnight, but um, we'll try and get out there very early in the morning and try and get it cut as soon as possible. Hopefully the farmer doesn't realise and uh, we can get the job done for him. But if he does, we'll just have to face the music, I think. I've tried to phone him. He's not answering. So um, I guess that's that. So we'll say goodnight and hope for the best in the morning. Morning, everyone. Okay, we are back super early. We left the TW in the field. And we are back to get the combine ready and get it over there. It's still very dark, but we should be all right, I think.
So last night, I did a little bit of driving around just to see if I could find another way in. I found one. It means we have to cut across another field, but it's owned by the same farmer, so that should uh, not cause us any issues, but it's quite a wide entrance into the field, which is good. As long as we can get through the gate. So, we'll run this down here. Probably better put the uh, emergency flashes on as well, so people can see us coming. Not that anybody's up at this time, look. The sun's barely up. But we'll get down there, and we'll try and get started. We are behind. We promised him we'd do it last night. This is not a good start for the business, really. But we'll do our best. Right, so much for sneaking around in the middle of the night. Everyone's going to hear us coming. It is noisy as we roll through the town here, but there is, I believe, a gate just on the right here, which should sort us out. So, we'll try and get organised, and we'll report back. Yes, there it is. Oh, good. There's even a bit of a junction here, so I can swing it in without too much difficulty. Let's pop this gate and get in there. Really glad I didn't tow the header behind the combine, that's all I'm saying. Right, there we go. And our field is just across the way there. So we'll just nip across this grass field here. Right, we're back for the header here. We'll use the Renault. Like I said, slightly underpowered at the moment. We're going to have to get that looked at in the next uh, little while, but at the moment, it'll pull the header along for us, which is great. So. We'll run this down to the field and hopefully get everything sorted. Right, here we are. Just getting organised. Uh oh. That is not what I wanted to hear. Hello? You want to tell me why my oats are still uncut? Yes, sorry, um, the contractor job we had last night ran on a bit and uh, I didn't didn't quite get round to it. I was going to do it first thing this morning. Uh, you won't notice the difference. Everything will be sorted. Well, I have a good mind not to pay you. I totally understand that. Listen, it won't happen again. I'm sorry. Just bit off a bit more than I could chew. I'm, uh, I'm just getting my head around everything still. Make sure it doesn't happen again. I know a lot of people around these parts can make it very difficult for you. Please don't. Listen. A mistake on my part. I apologise. In fact, I tell you what, I'll do it for free. Let me show you that I'm capable. But let's have a chat when you finish the job, shall we? Probably wishful thinking that I was going to get away with it, wasn't it? But, let's see how we get on, shall we? There we go. Away from the header. Now we should be able to get this through this gate. This is the reason I came this way. Because that other one was just... It was never going to happen. I must go and turn the lights off on the uh, Renault as well before we start. I'll do that. And then we'll get jumped into this field and we'll get things going. The tractor is way down there, past the pylons, in the bottom corner. So actually I might cut around to it. And then we'll kind of get it out of that narrow spot that it's in. There we go. First run in the new combine. Um, now, should I put a straw swath on? I'm, do you know what? I'm going to, just to be safe. He can plough it under if he doesn't want it, but equally, it could be a disaster. This contract says nothing. It just says cut the oats. So that's what I'm going to do. But he may want us to come back and do bailing later on, so at least if there's a swath down, we can't be blamed for getting that wrong. But we're moving, so let's get on with it.
we've got a challenge these grain trailers aren't huge so we are going to have to fill this up at the combine it's already had one load in but we're going to have to fill it up again because the drive we've got to do to the sell point is huge it's a long way away so um yeah we better get our skates on so let's get whatever's left in this tank in here I'm pretty sure that we're not going to be able to get there and back in the time it takes the combine to get filled back up but now's the perfect time actually he's just finished the headlands so whatever we can get in here let's turn the HUD on so we can see what we're doing oh we're 91% typical oh and it's still going um, we'll get this filled up and then we'll try and get back in time right 93% we're going for it and I'll tell you what we're not going to do is use that gate there we're going to go out the top here it's slightly longer but we keep the speed a little bit higher we're just going to have to get to the garden centre which is miles away so we've got a little road trip on our hands I can't imagine we're going to be able to get back before the combine's full but we will do our best let's get our foot down and see what we can do so context that's where we are harvesting we're coming across this field and out onto the road here we're going to have to go all the way down here through this narrow lane here and back onto the main road up all the way to here So, we are still on the road. We've been doing this for a long time now. There's no question that combine is full and sitting wait for us. But um, something I quite like about this map, it's hard to get about. It's hard to find your way around from some of the fields. And you have to, the detours you have to go through are pretty huge. So uh, it's fun. It just adds another element to it. And the other thing I must say, let's just look back here, the lighting is absolutely breathtaking especially mornings and evenings stunning work stunning work but here we are i believe this is our cell point i don't know how to get into it i've probably gone the wrong way already yes i have the gate is down there right let's do a u-turn and go back to the road i think i'll be better once i've got my bearings a bit but just now I'm making a few mistakes, which isn't helping us get these contracts done any quicker. Here we are. Now I've just got to work out which one it is. I hope it's this one. Didn't think it was going to tip then, but it has. That's them all emptied out. Right, let's make a beeline back to that field, shall we? Well, we've just arrived back and he's still going. In fact, look at that. He is literally this second maxed out. We managed it. I am very pleased about that. And look, he's almost halfway through the field as well. So, um, it just goes to show you, maybe not that much grain in this field. Um, let's just make sure we're unloading though. There we go. Well, that did please me. Um, let's just check the time as well. I think it's only uh, about... Yep, there we go. 7.23 in the morning. I'm going to shoot to get this contract done before 8. Let's see if we can do that. So there you go. We'll wait here. Um, we've got 8,500 litres. So the combined tank is 8,500 litres. I think these trailers are around about 10 or 11. So um, we'll just wait until we've got another full trail load. Look, he's sorting out the... Um, the pole in the field there quite nicely uh, so we'll wait till we're full again we'll run down there i don't think we're going to get two full combine loads out of this field now i reckon there's probably this full trailer and maybe this much again maybe the 74 percent but uh, not much more than that we shall see 
but uh, we'll wait for him to be full again. Um, I might as well wait at the top of the field actually because his pipe's always on the inside uh, coming down from this end of the field so we might as well sit at the top and then when he is ready to unload we can um, be ready with him. Right, let's see if there's enough now just to get this trailer all roll alongside again, get lined up. Not quite. We'll run down to the bottom with them though. We are filling up on the fly here. We'll probably check the contract at some point and make sure we're uh, on target to hit it. I notice we have missed a few little pieces. Not enough to really make a difference, I don't think. But uh, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Hmm, what's going to happen here? We're going to be a little bit short, but equally, I think we might just go with what we've got. Maybe 92, 93%. See what happens. I'm not sure which way he goes around this uh, this pole here. He goes around that way. Okay. I say we run this down and uh, try and get back in time before he's done again. Right, we're back. Let's get this tipped. And while it's tipping, we will check and see what the contract is doing. There's our trigger. Let's tip it and let's have a look at the contract. There we go, 81% already. 85%, so we're tipping now. Said 90% there actually. We've only got 10% left. I wonder if we're going to have something left over here like we did with um, the bailing contract. Not that we have anywhere to put it, but all this extra crop is uh, potentially a whole money spinner for us. Right, let's get back and uh, get the last of the grain out of the field. Now you might be wondering, who is driving the combine? Like I said, up until now, I've only been here on my own. So, this chap is called Willy. He's Scottish, and he, um, he used to drive combines for Jacob. In the rush this morning, I forgot to mention, but he'd phoned me last night, and he said he would help me out. Now, it took me a while to understand what he was saying with the accent. But um, apparently this is all he does, is drive combines. He doesn't do any other work, so we can't use him for any other contracting work. But he is Mr. Combine around these parts. So he does it for a few of the different contractors. But uh, he offered to help me out on this one. I think the farmer who'd actually asked me to do the contract had given him the heads up last night. So... Really great to have this help. It's helped us get through this contract super, super quickly. So, got to say a big thank you to Willie. There we go. Contract finished. Just going to get Willie on the old CB here and say thank you to him because he can head off now. FSG to Willie, come in. Hello. Much appreciated, Willie. That is a huge help. I'll... Uh, hopefully be in touch again soon we've got a few jobs on and we'll definitely need some more combining in the future uh, are you up for that i need bother pal we'll see you again um yeah thanks i think that's what you said hi fst brand new pal brand new i think i know what he means right let's get the rest of the grain into the trailer and over to the cell point there we go. Not too much in it. In fact, how much is that? It is 46%, another 5,000 litres. So let's get it tipped and see what happens. Here we are. Last tip. Let's see what happens here. There we go. Contract on field 52 has finished and it has given us the excess £1,248 in harvest income. That is a real bonus, um, and very, very handy. Right, um, before we jump onto the road, we're just going to phone the farmer 
Mr. Clifford Powell and just let him know. Yes, lad, what is it? Um, I'm just phoning to say that's contract completed already. Um, I hope that was all to your liking. What? Already? Blimey. Maybe you're better than I gave you credit for. Not bad, not bad at all, lad. Well, thank you very much. Yes, um, I hope it's all to your liking. Can I uh, expect a call from you again in the future? Yeah, maybe. Maybe you will. Well, that's a relief. Winning hearts and minds here, I think. Right, let's get out of here. Alright, we'll drop the trailer back. Um, so, that would appear, based on the fact that we've got the, um, the extra grain from that contract, that um, these bales probably are ours, aren't they? Alright, let's get this parked up. Um, we'll get the combine back. Um, we've got kit actually lying all over the place. We've got the telehandler still up in the uh, field from the bale contract as well, so we'll need to bring that back. We don't want to leave stuff lying around, but we don't want a rep for that. But, here we go. Contract number two. Tick in the box. I think we clutched victory from the jaws of defeat on that one. Definitely. I honestly thought we were going to have to do that one for free. Due to our mess up, but we seem pretty happy at the end there. Right, I brought the tractors back. Um, I've left the combine up in the field just now because I'm going to wait and see what happens with our next contract. But uh, if it's not a harvest contract, we'll go and get it. If not, we can move it exactly from where it is to the new contract. But um, there we go. It's 7.46 in the morning. We've already done our first contract. Not bad. Right, now we've got downtime and those contracts are done. We are going to have a look at this Renault and see what's wrong with it. I think it might just be dirty air filters, a load of engine stuff that probably needs sorting out. It's been a while since it's had a birthday. So, uh, I'm going to grab this toolbox here. And we'll have a little bit of a play around with it. See if there's anything that we can sort here. We've got quite a good mechanical knowledge of tractors. We should be able to sort something out with this. Uh, and if not, We'll need to run it down to the dealer and see what they can do with it there. But um, I don't think it'll take us too much to work this out. Right. Fuel filter changed. Oil filter changed. Air filter changed. New oil. This should run like clockwork now. I just think the engine was getting choked and just couldn't get any power. So, time will tell, right, when we run it out in the field for the first time. But uh, I'm quietly confident we might have solved a little bit of an issue there. Now, um, I'm just going to collect, we still haven't collected our earnings from our uh, contract yet, so I'm going to do that right now. Here we go, there's our bailing contract for the other day, let's collect that, and let's see what else is out there. There we go, another bailing contract, interesting, field 33, mow the grass in field 33, then dry it with a tether and bale it, take the bales to folly down bales, okay. We're doing some hay this time, so slightly different to last time. I'm liking the look of that, but I'm also liking the look of the fact that it's only 8am and it's probably time for a little bit of breakfast. So, on that note, I think we'll call it there for this episode and say thank you very, very much for watching. I'm properly enjoying this series and really getting a chance to see the map and uh, do some stuff that I wouldn't normally do. So, uh, fantastic. So, thank you all. Much appreciated. The response has been brilliant so far. Hopefully uh, you will keep coming back and watching more. But for now, from me, the Farm Sim Guy, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye for now. Hello everyone, welcome back to Court Farms. If you remember in the last episode, we had just finished that contract early in the morning, 
So it's only 8 a.m. here, and we have picked up our next contract, which is a hay contract. We're heading down to field 33 down here to mow, Ted, Windrow, and Bayless be sold as hay. So it's going to be another one of those big jobs. So I think we just push on with it. Hopefully, we'll get a little bit more work while we're down there. But first and foremost, the TW worked really well for mowing last time, so I'm going to go with that again. And then I'm tempted to um, test the Renault again. Did that work to it in the last episode? Clean the engine up, replace the oil, the fuel filters, clean the air filter, and uh, hopefully it's going to have a little bit more power now because it was uh, really struggling before. So um, let's get this hooked up. We'll get the mower down there and then we'll uh, round up the other pieces of equipment, run those down there as well and uh, hopefully we'll do this at double quick time. Now we've done one of these already I'm kind of feeling a little bit more confident so let's charge on and we'll see you in the field Here we go, these crossings over these uh, streams here make me a bit nervous sometimes but we're through let's get over here Again, still getting used to things with my bearings. I think that's the field we want opposite. So we'll just run around here and uh, we'll get there and just check on the map. Yes, indeed, here it is. Oh, it's a nice big field, this. So, turning this into hay. So, we'll get things unfolded. We'll get things into position and uh, we'll get sorted. I've said it before and I'll say it again, one of the things with this mower is that its size means that we can get through this relatively quickly, which is good. I still need to really find some additional help. Um, that would be a big blessing if we could. Obviously, we've got Willy, or I believe is pronounced Woy, uh, helping us now with combines, but that is all he does. He doesn't do anything else. Well, at least I don't think he does. We'll maybe find out a little bit more about him as we get on, but for now, head down, let's get this mowing done, and then we can get straight back in here with the tether. fast. This uh, at full chat with the mowers on is a bit of a beast, so yeah, loving it. And uh, it's not going to take us long to do this contract at this rate. I'm really pleased about this. Oh boy, another text. The word is getting around, I think. Well, that's lovely. Adrian's come back. We must have done a good job with the bailing. She's wanting us to go and cut some oats for her, so that's brilliant. We'll uh, hopefully get up there with the combine after this. Great stuff. Oh my goodness. Bone's jumping off the hook here. Well, Leroy's a new farmer. We've not met him before. I will take that. Fantastic. Okay, these are backing up though. I'm desperate desperately in need of some help. Right, we're done here. We are going to, in fact, 
let's run this back to the yard. I was going to say I'm going to leave this here just in case we have any problems with the baler, but I'm pretty confident that that work we did on the Renault is going to pay dividends. I bet for Willie as well. I'll tell him we've got a, another a harvest contract. Hi, Willie. FSG here. I wonder if you're about unavailable. I have got another combine contract I could do with your help on. I can, pal. Need more. I'm guessing he's going to do it for us. Oh well. Need to learn that language. Not sure it's English. Right. Let's part this up. Let's grab. Let's grab the tedder to start with, and then we'll come back for the baler. A lot of toing and froing here. It's not great in terms of. Uh, the amount of fuel we're using, is it? Probably last chance saloon for this Renault. I'm not sure how useful it is to us if it can't do any of the big jobs. Although, having said that, there are quite a few jobs it is capable of doing. It, uh, it windrowed nicely last time. I'm sure this tether will be no problem for it at all. Um, it struggled a bit with the baler and the trailer. But I think, like I said, the way we've cleaned it, and had a little bit of an overhaul of it. It might just do the job going forward. Let's see. Anyway, let's get this down to the field. This shouldn't take too long, and then we'll uh, dive straight into the windrowing and the baling. All right, here we are. Didn't take long. I've not used this Pottinger tether before. Could have done something a little bit wider, but hey, it'll do. Power it up. Drop it down. Let's get the job done. Right, we're making okay progress here. It's not as fast as we were in the mower, but obviously it's not as wide and we're not going as fast. But um, I really think I need some extra help here. And the best person to speak to is probably Wally. So give him a quick bell, see if he knows anybody or can recommend anybody. And uh, maybe we can get two vehicles going in here. Hello, FSG! Hi Willie, sorry to bother you again mate. Um, quick question, anybody else who uh, would do some tractor work for me? I would pay them obviously, happy to pay them the going rate, um, but I don't know anybody around here and I kind of thought, well, you know everybody. Anybody you could recommend? Hi, Divi. Sorry, who? Divi. I'm not quite picking, I must, it's a bad line, I'm not picking... Divi man! Divi! Um... Davy? Who's Davy? Davy used to work for Jacob. And now he's looking for more work, so... Okay, um... If he can send me his details, I'll try and give him a bell. Thanks, Willy. Me bother, pal. Once again... Deciphering what he says is half the battle, but sounds like we've got somebody. That's quite exciting. Just having a little look through the dealership site here to see if there's anything viable that we can use for picking up bales. I don't like that bale grab we've got. There's some nice bale forks and spikes here. I think we might be able to find something that will do the job just a little bit better. Hmm, interesting. 
what I'm going to do is take the leftover bales from the first contract we did with Adrienne, sell those, and we're right by the dealership then anyway, and I've spotted, I think, the perfect solution. So, um, yeah, we'll crack on, and then we'll head down there and get those. Right, all done here. Heading back to the yard. And then uh, I think what we'll do is we'll take those bales now and get that new bale grab, even before we get the windrower in here. Might give us an opportunity to try and get hold of this Davy chap and see if he can uh, see if he can help us. Drop us back in to position here, and we're done. Right, grab the bales. We will see you down at the sale point. Well, I'd just like to say that I think we've nailed it with that engine repair. Look at that. 25, 26 miles an hour. No sign of any issues with this not pulling out. I'm very pleased about that. That's saved me probably quite a lot of money in investing in a new tractor for a while. But uh, pleased to see. Right. We'll see you up there. Right, we've arrived. Let's get these sold. They belong to us, so we should be able to sell them now. There we go. 4,500. Wowee. This is uh, quite a lucrative little business. We're up to 34,000 already, which is great. I'm going to spend a little bit now on this bale fork. And then, uh, yeah. We'll go and see if we can get some help from Davy. Right, we've made it to the dealers. Let's go and have a chat. Hello again. Hello, I'm just here to pick up the bale fork. Oh, it's just around the side. You can pick it up there. Thanks very much. Um, great service, by the way. Thank you very much. I well, hear you're giving... Uh, we Davy a job. Uh oh, crikey, word gets around quick here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna maybe give him a go. I need some extra help. Good luck with that. Oh really? Aye, I'm sure he'll be fine. Guy's a bit odd, but he's uh looked after us with this new bale fork. So um, I'm not gonna complain. We'll get it sorted and we'll get it over to the yard. There it is. Just eighteen hundred pounds it cost us. I used this on Bally Spring and really enjoyed it. Um, a little bit of help with the auto load on it, but uh, yeah, it make, means you can stack trailers really nicely, which uh, is just a real benefit. So uh, we'll get this loaded up and we'll get back to the yard with it. Right, all loaded up. Let's get out of here and push on with this contract. I am so pleased. It's literally just about ten past nine in the morning. We have got so much of the day still to go. But I'm pretty confident we can get those other contracts in as well. So, we'll see you back at the yard. Right, we're back and we're just taking this off the trailer. This thing is a beast. Honestly, wait till you see it in action. It's a game changer. But for now, we'll just pop it over here. We're going to grab that wind rower very quickly and we're going to dive back into the field we don't want to lose the momentum we've already got back just for a bit of a change let's take the beast quite excited actually because I want to try the Renault on the uh, baler in a bit so we'll bring the Renault over with the baler shortly right we're just going to dive in and get started no time like the present.
Right, we are nearly done here. And I thought now would be a good opportunity to give Davy a phone and see if he can either come and help us with this or with our next contract. So let's give him a bell. Hello? Hi, Davy. Um, it's Farm Sim Guy here. Uh, I took over Jacob's contracting business. I was wondering if you'd be up for doing a bit of work. I know you did some work for Jacob in the past. Got quite a lot of contracts on, and I could definitely do with an extra pair of hands. Um, yeah, okay. Great. Um, I'm in the middle of a baling contract now. Have you, have you driven a baler before? Yeah. Okay, could you come down to my yard in the next hour or so? Yeah, I suppose. Brilliant. Okay, I'll see you in a little while. Okay, see you soon. Okay, he, he, he sounds like a barrel of laughs. Well, hopefully he's just a bit nervous because he doesn't know who I am, but uh, hey, the extra pair of hands could be very helpful. Right, in the meantime, let's get this done and get back to the yard. Right, we're all folded up and ready to go. That... That's a pretty nicely windrowed field, even if I do say so myself. Right, let's go back to the yard. Let's see if Davies managed to make it over. Didn't fill me with confidence. He sounded a little bit uh, unenthusiastic, let's say. But, benefit of the doubt, let's see how we get on with it. Right, here we are. Oh. No sign of him yet. Um, well, we're going to run to the stores. I need to stock up um, uh, a really lot of food, so I might grab a bit of lunch there. And then hopefully, by the time we come back, he'll be here waiting. Let's find a spot and go and grab a sandwich. Well, hello again. Hello again. How are you? I'm just in to pick up a few bits and pieces. How's business going? Do you know what? Really well, actually. Um, I've been surprised how we're, well. I've even just hired my first helper, Davy. Davy, the lad that used to work for Jacob. Y yes. Is there a problem? Oh no, he's a lovely lad. Just a bit accident prone. Oh. Okay. Well, I'll have to keep an eye on that. Thanks for the food. See you later. See you again soon. What fun. Somebody that's accident prone. <laughs> that's all we need. Right, well, time's pushing on. I need to get back to the yard and get the baler and the trailer ready to pick up these bales. But I think we've run out of time for this episode. We will call it there and we will see you again very, very soon back on Court Farms. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for all the support and I will see you all again very soon. Take care. Bye for now. Hello everyone. Welcome back to Court Farms. Yes, we're just going to pick up where we finished the last episode, which was we've tedded and we have windrowed the hay in the field that we are contracted to at the moment. Uh, we're going to get the baler over there now and we are going to load it all up and get it over to the sell point now. Um, I am still waiting for David to arrive. Um, he ideally would be the person that's going to be driving the baler, but he's not showed up yet, so... We'll just have to wait for him to arrive. Everything's kind of hooked up and ready to go. We're going to put the Renault on the baler. See if those adjustments to the engine that we made and those fixes uh, speed things up a little bit. Which means we might drop the Fiat onto the trailer. We have got another new piece of equipment. Our first new purchase. Uh, this should make loading the trailer a lot easier as well. So um, looking forward to giving that a try. But where's Davy? Where is he? Ah! 
Davy, right? Yeah, hi. Appreciate you coming down here. Um, you know the tracks are in the bale? You've used them before, haven't you? Yeah, that's right. Excellent. Okay. Uh, field 33. I'm going to be coming with you. Um, because I'm going to be picking up the bales that you're baling straight away. So, um, I'll be able to keep an eye on you. Just make sure you're doing everything all right. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. That's what Jacob used to do as well. Not sure why. All right, off he goes. Hopefully he's going to be all right. I'm a bit nervous. The amount of people have said he's uh, he's a bit accident prone makes me a bit nervous. Right. Let's hook up the bale trailer as well. We should see. There he goes. Heading down towards the field. We'll get this hooked up. And we'll run this down and then go back for the telehandle. Right, here we are. We'll just get Davy sorted and then we'll uh, go and get the telehandler, I think. You all set, Davy? Good to go? Yeah, I think so. Okay, um, if you can start in the middle and finish on the headlands, that'd be awesome. I'm going to go and get the telehandler. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, yeah, all good. Magic. Good luck. Right, looks like he's up and going. Um... And he's doing what I asked him to. Don't see what the problem is here. He's going at a good pace, and so that Renault looks like it's moving much quicker than it was in the other field, so I think our uh, little tweaks to the engine have done the job we were expecting them to do. Nice. Right. While he's doing that, I will go and get the telehandler. Right, let's see how we go with this new tool. Unpressed experience is really, really good. Um, used it a lot on Barley Spring. Um, what it could do with is having the bales flipped before we do it. We may even just do that. Um, but this will definitely help with the loading times. If you remember from the first contract, it was kind of hard work. So... Uh, this will definitely help speed things up a little bit. I've actually switched off autoload off on the trailers so we can use this. So it's a kind of trade-off. Get rid of autoload. But this does have a little bit of a helper system on it as well. So um, might not be to everybody's taste, but I really like it. It's part of the CSZ pack. And uh, yeah, if you're not brilliant at loading and unloading stuff, this is definitely a big help. Right, we'll see you in the field. Right, we're back. How's uh, Davy doing there? Okay, we're three bales in already. Nice. Now, I did say I would keep an eye on him. Just, I just want to be on the safe side. And make sure he's doing alright. But after that, uh, we'll start loading some of them up. I've got to say, I think the kid's doing brilliantly. I don't know what all the fuss was about. I'd love to know how he got a reputation like that. Anyway, we are going to start loading up bales because I would like to move on from this contract. We've got two others sitting there still, if you remember. We've got a combining contract and we've got a ploughing contract. Now, I might see if Davey wants to do the ploughing contract after this one. And if he doesn't, we'll be giving Willie a shout anyway to get the uh, combine contract doing. He can run a trailer for Willie as well. So, either way, we can keep him busy. Right, let's give this loader a try. Right, here's how this works. We should 
roll up to a bale like so. Now that one was um, already on its end. Uh, but if we roll up to this one, it should grab this one too. There we go. And now I can load these directly onto the trailer. But it's a little bit more uh, forgiving than just using bale spike. It means you can get things lined up on the trailer a lot nicer. So um, we'll push on and we'll get the trailer loaded. Right, here we go. That didn't take long at all, and look how neat that trailer is. It really is. I'm actually toying with the idea, can I squeeze another two on the back? Or am I pushing my luck? Can I quit while I'm ahead? Let's just get these lined up nicely. There we go. Put that down. A little bit close, actually. Let's just roll it back ever so slightly. There we go. Now, what do we think? Would maybe get two more on? I think we'd give it a go. I'm trying to be as efficient as possible. I don't know how many we need to complete this uh, contract. I was thinking... We would have to do two runs anyway, so we might as well maximise them. It's probably not another full load on the field, so we'll give it a try if we think we think it's in any way looking a little bit awkward. We'll just drop them down and uh, pop them on the second load, because like I said, I don't think there's 16 bales left in this field, but I could be proved wrong as well, so let's go. Um, that Renault is still not pulling very hard. I mean, it's running five six miles an hour instead of the four that we had or three in the other field it still feels underpowered so I do think there's maybe a slightly more kind of not a serious problem but a, a bigger problem we should probably need to look at down at the dealership rather than having to go ourselves these are going to go on quite comfortably actually I think hang them over the edge here like so we'll drop them off And then we'll just give them a, just a very gentle push on. There we go. Look at that, like a glove. Like a glove. Right. We'll latch these up. Get them down to the cell point. Nice job. Even if I do say so myself. Because nobody else is going to... Right, all latched up. Turn the engine off on this. Hopefully... By the time we get back, David's going to have finished. Right, just so you know where we are, here we are down here. We are going to folly down bales just here. So, actually, we've got a decent uh, decent run as well. We're not having to go too far across the map. Right, let's get on with it. There we go. He's it across the bridge here. Um, so, I'm thinking aloud a bit here, but thinking of ways that we can reduce the amount of time for uh, cutting down wrapping of bears. There seems to be a lot of silage contracts on this map, probably because where we are in the countryside, uh, but having a, a wrapper and a baler separate is a little bit frustrating, kind of two job process, whereas if you could do them in one go that would be brilliant. Now that might be a second baler, 
because we can obviously um, do things like straw and hay as we are here um, with the bale we've got but maybe that's another investment we look at a little bit further down the line so much to uh, spend our money on and uh, not that much money yet but we'll get there I think but I do think that Renault probably needs to be considered for not retirement but definitely definitely consider using it on specific jobs and, and not trying to push it too hard until we work out what the problem is with it anyway but here we go it's not the garden centre it is Folly Downs which is I think this one here make sure we avoid the forklift truck there I'm guessing it's this one the smaller one looks like the drain unload point so this I'm guessing is the bales yes there are bales there so that makes total sense there we go we'll just stop here we shall take the straps off and We've rolled two out of the back. Okay, that's easy enough to fix. We'll just go around and nudge those on. We've maybe rolled a little bit further forward. We've just been told they're 64% transported now, plus these two at the back. So we're well over halfway. That's fantastic. Yes, yeah, so note to self next time if we do get a full load, just roll a little bit further over the sail point. There we go. There we go, 69% now. Right, let's head back to the field. See how Davey is doing. Right, here we are, back again. He's not moving. Why has he stopped? I'm sorry, Mr. FSG. I just put the clutch in and something went bang. And it started to smoke. I'm really, really sorry. I don't think I did anything wrong. Davy, relax man. Listen, it's okay. Um, I've had a few issues with this tractor since uh, I arrived, so I'm not surprised it was running. It, it was running even less powerfully than this. So uh, I do think there's a wider problem with it. Listen, don't worry about it, alright? Just uh, um, finish up for the day. I'll, I'll sort all this. Listen, don't worry about it. I'll, uh, I'll put the fiat on it. I'll finish the bail in. I'll get it loaded up and then gone. I might give you a call later if we get around to doing the combining. Are you up for that? Yeah, like I said, I'm really, really sorry. Don't worry about it, honestly. I don't think you did anything wrong. I'll give you a call in a bit, okay? Okay, I'm sorry. Poor lad. That could have happened to any of us. Just so happens it was him that was driving the tractor. Maybe this is what they meant when they said he was unlucky. Anyway, um, we should be able to move this, so uh, we'll get it out of the way. I'm gonna have to get somebody to come and get it. Um, let's see if we can move it off the uh, off the rows so we can finish the field at least. Oh, slowing us down though. Yep, something's definitely gone in this. Let's just see if we can crawl it to here. And we'll get this down and sorted at the garage. Lucky enough, though, we have the beast with us. This should see us sorted straight away. Tell you what, though, this is no bad solution. This moves a lot quicker than that Renault, so we'll get this done in double quick time, get those last bales loaded up, and then we can move on to the next job. Oh, I feel a bit sorry for Davey, though. He looked genuinely... Uh, Upset that he'd uh, broken the tractor and it genuinely wasn't his fault. There we go. We are done. Um, how many bales have we got? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. We might have a full trailer here. Wow. Right. Let's um, go and get them. Right back in the JCB, and I'll let you uh, sit back and relax while we uh, grab all these again.
there we go. That could even be better than the first one. I just love that tool. It is brilliant. It uh, kind of makes you look like you know what you're doing. Look at that. Tremendous. Right. Let's latch this up. Let's get out of here. Job done now. We were 69% done. So, um, I kind of think we might get another little bonus off this. We shall see. Right, Baylor detached. Now, the only problem is, I'm going to have a load of kit lying in this field, which I can't really um, pick up very easily. I have to do about two or three trips to bring it all back to the yard. Plus, that's sitting in the middle of the field. That's not going to make our uh, friend, Mr. Mr. Powell, very happy. Hi, we've done your contract, but we just dumped our broken tractor in the middle of your field, and we're just going to leave it there. So I need to get myself down, I guess, to the dealership and ask them if I can uh, get them to come and pick it up. Anyway, priority first. Finish the contract. Let's collect the money. And uh, we'll get the other stuff back to the yard. And then we'll worry about the tractor. Right, here we go. Get these in and sold. I'm excited to see how much, if any, of a bonus we get. But I'm pretty sure we will. You know, 69%. So this, we're looking at 140% here. So a 40% bonus could be quite a lot. And depending on the price of hay at the moment, it could be a nice little earner on top of the contract as well. So let's roll these over. Let's make sure we don't make the same mistake as last time. Make sure they're all over the grill. There we go. Unlatch them. One. There we go. Finished. And we get an extra £2,344 as well. So, very helpful. Right, trailer back to the yard. And then we'll go and get the other kit. Get it all back to the yard and sorted before we move on to the next contract. I think we'll do... I think we'll get stuck into the ploughing one next. Right, that's the last piece of equipment back in the yard, other than the broken down Renault, which we have phoned the dealership and they are going to take for us. So, I think, short of just grabbing the contract money, we should go and get started on the next contract, which is the ploughing one. We are going to leave the combining till later. Because Wallet is um, a bit busy with something else at the moment. So he said he could come and help us a little bit later in the day. So that's fine. We'll just uh, work around him. So let's take the TW with a bit of grunt. And we'll go ploughing. Right, we've got a two and a half ton weight on the front. Just to help us out a little bit. Keep the uh, weight over the front tyres. For extra traction, we will grab the plow. There's no point in washing this just now. It's going to come back rather dirty. But there we go. Plow is connected. Let's get out of here. We'll fold it for the journey. Just while I remember, there is our 10,566 for doing that bailing job we will happily take that and look a plan contract seven thousand nine hundred and twelve pounds for that as well field 14 it's a big field and it takes a bit of time but it's a nice little earner again and if we go about here forty four thousand we're on already we're only in day one here we are making friends with the locals the caravanners um this is a completely different part of the map. It's nice to see another part of the map again. Just a really great decision to do contracting here. We are seeing so much of the map. There's the gate. Could be fun getting into the field with this long plough, but we'll give it a go. We'll get this job done. There we go. If only these gates went a little bit wider. It'll stop at 90 degrees, but uh, 
I for one will make do with it. Oh, and now we're getting in the way of the concrete mixer. There we go, we'll let him go past. And then we will manoeuvre our way in here. There we go, hit it at an angle. And we're in. Right, look at the size of this field. Well, no time like the present. Let's get stuck into it. Right, there we go. We are ploughing. Digging up the stubble. Getting it ready for some seeding later on. Um, like I said, it's a big field. We've got a telegraph pole right in the middle of it, which we'll have to negotiate. A few rocks in here too, but um, the TW's laughing at it. It's a powerful tractor, this. So... I guess not much more to do than uh, turn the radio up loud and uh, sit and enjoy the peace and quiet while we plough. It's a plough rotating, getting yourself organised. We are skipping a few rows here. Quite a tight turn, so we thought we'd speed things up and that was a nice... I saw the way the track turned then, lined itself up for the row. If we were doing the row next to it, it would have reversed and... Had to do a much tighter turn so this should help us out in the long term should make things a lot easier so we will see you in a little while everyone as you could see we're making progress across the field here it's a bit of a, a bit of a false hope actually because you know you've got to go back across it a couple of times as well to fill in all the gaps but um, plowing just takes time right um, and it's nice and relaxing and you can just go up and down to your heart's content so we're going to keep doing this we'll try and get this contract finished pretty quickly but I think we'll call it there for that episode um, it's been a fun one this one I've really enjoyed that um, let's hope that Renault of ours hasn't got any major problems with it and we can sort it out for future episodes so for now from me the farm sim guy thank you very much for watching and i'll see you again very soon take care bye for now <laughs>